Hello YouTube, welcome to today's video. Today is a pool day. And for the first today's first moment, we are gonna start off with some cable pull ends. I'm gonna get down and I'm gonna kneel. Uh, just so I can get a little more stretch action going on. Um, yeah, we'll do three sets, 20 to 30 reps. Okay, so what we got here is this is the last set. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen next is we're gonna move on to the deadlifts. Okay, we're gonna do three sets there for five, increasing the weight as we go. Um, today's video is gonna be a short one. We're just going to do some training and post-workout nutrition, what I'm gonna eat for breakfast. But other than that, that's all we got for today. Um, I have a series of packages coming in for schooling for my youngest daughter starts school here in a couple weeks. So I have a lot of packages coming in and you know, I don't wanna have to mess with the carriers, the mail carriers saying that I wasn't there. But yeah, if you don't wanna hear about that, that's what I got going on. Let's just finish this workout. Now, with this movement, I don't just jump in balls deep, trying to, you know, throw some weight. I really don't go too heavy with this movement because, one, I don't want to chance the risk of injury, and it's just better to work myself up, you know, than get some shitty reps in and have to peel off weight. Um, other than that, just really focusing on the squeeze and contraction. This morning I weighed in two pounds heavier than I usually weighed in. As you saw, I was like 189.4, some somewhere around there. But yeah, definitely you can see the gain some weight. Could be just water. Um, you know, just you don't really know yet because it's first thing in the morning. But you don't want to let that stop you and thinking that you're losing progress or whatever. You're gonna fluctuate. Weight is gonna fluctuate. So uh, yeah, keep going. Another thing, 
Another thing too. I was out of the gym for about three days or so. You know, just wanted to take some R and R time and spend time with spend time with the kids, man. You know, you gotta utilize some of the, these times, these strange times, just to you know, get as much time with and with them as you can. Because my life, the way I live, with my people I work for and all that. I'm on call 24-7. I don't have a schedule like most people. So, yeah. Get a rest for a little bit. Cool. Keep in mind when you do movements like this and you're pulling or, yeah, while well, you're pulling, you know, you tend to get a lot of grip strength. Your grip strength runs out. You feel like you're, you're struggling because it's, your, your grip strength is off. Use some straps. You know, you can use the normal straps where you through the hoop and you have to wrap it around the bar, what have you. Or, you know, you can use some of these cover grips or essentially the same thing as uh, Versa grips. Um, these are pretty nice. Also. You know, they have this rubber piece. And so that, you wrap it around, hold the bar, pull up. So, yeah. Keep on going. We have 225. So, we have two more plates. Definitely in the heavier weight realm. Definitely want to have some fun with belt with this one. Just push the other back. Um, we're in a super five, but if I can get one, I can get one PR. I'll shed the weight and bust out five more reps. The lighter weight, but. Gonna be a PR. Don't force it. If it's not going to go up, don't force it. So this is what you do. Shed the weight and try it another day. So we move the 45s and we're into the 10s. Oh, break. Oh, it's going up a lot easier though. We're gonna go with some lat pull downs, wide grip. Later on, we're gonna be neutral grip lat pull downs, but for now, 
you want to use the, the wider stance. Um, but if you can do pull-ups, that's that'd be the better option. Go with pull-ups, but for me, it's a nice wide grip back. Go down, get a squeeze down at the bottom. I'm sure we're working a lot, not swinging. It's just nice to control. We're gonna go with some lap pull downs, wide grip. Later on, we're gonna be neutral grip lap pull downs, but for now, we want to use the, the wider stance. Um, but if you can do pull ups, that's that'd be the better option. Go with pull ups, but for me, it's a nice wide grip lap pull down. Get a squeeze down at the bottom. I'm sure, working a lot, not swinging. Nice to control. See, another thing with straps too is it sort of eliminates the bicep movement. With these exercises, you get some involvement from the from the bicep, the pulling. So you get a sick pretty, you get a sick pump, bicep pump like that. But the idea is to work the work your lats, not worry about your bicep. We have biceps later, but with the use of straps, it eliminates that. It eliminates that grip strength. So all you're working is the lats. Concentrate on the lats. On the lats, get that mind-muscle connection. Um, but I mean, these aren't, these aren't really a necessity. These are just a tool to help you. It, you can get any workout accomplished without the use of, of things like this, this, wrist straps, anything. You can get enough done without that. These are just made to help you and use them as an accessory. But no way, shape, or form are they required to get the work done. Get the done. I tell you, four sets, 12 to 15 reps. 12 to 15. Okay, so now we're up to uh, chest departed T bar rows. Um, three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Yeah, 12 to 15 reps. Three sets.
Now see, in my opinion, I think this machine sucks. I mean, it would be nice if these feet, his feet were uh, adjustable. I mean, not everybody's freaking six foot. I mean, I'm, it's my short stature, I'm 5'5", five five, and it's kind of like, I have to stand on my tippy toes to get on this thing. Okay, so we have now, and we're back on this low row machine. That instead of doing next you know, do both hands, we're gonna do a unilateral movement. We'll do ten on this side, ten on this side. Really, there's gonna be no rest as of yet. We'll see. But ideally. What you want to do is just bust it out. Do one, do one side, do the other side, back over here. I mean, cause you're resting this side when you're working this side, or vice versa, you know. But yeah, let's get, let's get to it. Okay, so with this, for the sake of having to change weight and stuff like that, we are gonna rest. It's gonna be a little bit awkward, but same principle. You mo I'm gonna start off light with this, and then we'll see. But you don't want to, you don't want to sacrifice form just to do stuff like this. We could have went over there, but crowded. Oh, 15 reps.
So, movement for this one was for doing hammer curls with the machine, or you could use dumbbells, uh, three sets, 12, 15. And then the last, last exercise we're gonna be doing is a bicep machine of whichever choice. You could use, the, you could use something like that, you could use this. Um, it's really all I think of as far as bicep machines go right now, but. Yeah, so we're just gonna use a curl machine, or you can go and use the cables, or free weights, whichever, to your choice. Three sets. All right, YouTube, now we're back. We're at home now. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our post-workout meal. Now, we did have a post-workout shake already, but we wanna get that real food in. We don't wanna just have all of our calories solely based on powders. Um, it's better to have, you know, real food, more micronutrients, and yeah, I mean, what we have here is, so we have some carb conscious uh, Kodiak cakes. We got two of those bad boys. We got about six strips of bacon here, and, and one egg, and we have some pico here on the side, just for some, added flavor, what have you. So, covered up, covered our carb conscious Kodiak cakes, we have the Kodiak syrup. It's a raspberry flavor with raspberries on the side. To drink what we have is our intro workout. Still, we still have some left over from the workout. And this is the cherry limeade flavor. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. We're just gonna kick back, watch some YouTube videos, wait for packages to arrive and basically that's all we got today uh, so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please like com comment and subscribe as per usual and i will see you in the next video peace